Yoga Bytes DB adds a new feature that I was surprised to see that it wasn't there since day one, and that is read committed isolation level. Let's jump into it and discuss. So this comes from the register and it's titled Yoga Byte DB tempts devs with read committed isolation levels. Right? If you don't know, Yoga Byte uh, is one of those. Uh, database as a service uh, cloud distributed relational data database you know that is postgres compatible so it it's luring the postgres uh, you know developers and applications written on postgres that are on prem to move to the cloud and the uh, features that they have is basically having distributed transactions with scalability do write scale your write scale your reads immediately just by going on top of yoga by db and i believe it's also open source they have, they open source back in what 2019 and you're gonna see a lot of databases that are postgres compatible cockroach db is another one and then they sell you on the idea of uh, have being distributed and being you know scalable which is very attractive you know like instead of doing everything myself, right? I can just host my data, just do a PG dump and then put my data on one of those. And since it's compatible, my app will just work, right? Unfortunately, that's not as easy as we always think because those databases as a service always lack features. Yeah, they have rich features, but they always lack basic features such as read committed isolation level. I mean, yeah if, if you're not if you didn't build enterprise level applications you might not really care about this isolation level but this is the default level and a lot of database engineers and back-end application engineers build their apps given that this is the read isolation level is a feature so missing that feature is a big deal because i cannot I can't move to my app and, and uh, I can't move my app to these uh, services as a result, right? Well, the Yoga Byte DB folks here, they are offering this feature, which is a great move. Yeah, I was really surprised. Like, really? I, again, I'm, I'm not really expert in cloud things or database as a service. I have experience in Postgres, Oracle, SQL Server, but everything is enterprise. The companies, all the companies I work at is enterprise level. So I always work with on-prem. So we can scale with replication and multiple replicas and stuff like that. You know, I never reached as I never work with a company that has like Google scale or Facebook scale. Let's go through this and read through this and then a little bit discuss. Speaking to the registrar, this comes from the registrar, by the way, guys. So check them out. CTO Karthik Rangathan, a former Facebook technical lead, which is the creator of uh, Yoga Bai, was the first and only distributed SQL vendor to offer all the three Postgres isolation level, making that much easier to shift existing application to a distributed database with advanced support for default Postgres isolation level, which is, that's a, that's a great feature if you think about it, right? Because that feature is, you would say, you would argue it's a basic thing. It has to be there. Otherwise, if those companies build these DB as a service to lure on-prem enterprise applications, then they have to have all the features that are impossible. Because I, there might be a feature that I don't use as often, but something as the default is committed, all my apps work on this You otherwise i have to rewrite my apps and we're going to come to a point with with the optimistic and pessimistic concurrency control which is really a daily breaker for some people let's continue so here they talk about the isolation levels which i talk about a lot in my channel and i also talk about it in detail in my course check it out database.hussainnasso.com uh, that redirects to udemy with the apple with the discount coupon apply check it out but real quick Isolation is the property of a concurrent transaction that defines what that transaction can see effectively. That's what it means. So how isolated it is. So uh, from the highest isolation, it's serializable, and the lowest isolation is read and committed. Uh, it's basically any transaction in read and committed can see anything that other transaction concurrently writes including those that are uncommitted so sometimes this is 
desired sometimes it's not that i ran into one or two cases in my career that i had to use redirect committed Redirect committed is really the most popular one and the most common it's the default and that means like as i begin my transaction i see things that are committed by other transaction so this means that if you execute sql1 in your transaction and you execute it again you could get different result and that could be desired or not depends on the use case there is no wrong or right repeatable read fixes that that means if you uh, execute a query and execute it again and execute it again you are guaranteed to get the same result because the isolation level at, is at the transaction and so realizable isolation level is where multiple transactions when you have multiple transactions the final effect is as if if you execute them one after the other and sometimes you can if you want physically distance those transactions so that they are one after the other physically that obviously comes out as a cost of locking because you're going to block one transactions but serializable isolation level usually doesn't do that it's run in a pessimistic way where okay let the both let both of them actually execute and if we detected any conflict or anomaly where this transaction changed something that this transaction read or this transaction change something that this transaction read then there is a conflict because the moment you have this cross things that means the final result will be affected so you want to re-serialize them usually more serializable that including even postgres they will use a pessim a optimistic approach that means the moment you reach at the end conflict will be detected one of the transactions will be kicked out it'll be effectively hey retry that and this is where these the two are transactions you're gonna get this optimistic uh, concurrency control that means you have to retry in case of conflict and developers usually don't like that i don't like that i rather have a pessimistic approach where say okay lock this stuff so that in case someone tries to touch my stuff or tries to do something block that transaction keep it waiting right and in this case once i'm finished once i roll back or commit unblock that and in that particular case that other transaction better sees the latest stuff that i changed i want that transaction to be in read committed isolation level in case of a pessimistic concurrency control so this is a very critical feature so don't take it away i i'm really surprised that it's not it was not there there since day one optimistic concurrency control pessimistic concurrency control very critical two pieces of uh, you know concurrency concept that you need to understand and the the main feature here is if you go with pessimistic you, there is no overhead there is the management of locks that you have to gain there is waiting and there is possibility of deadlocks because you're blocking each other right with optimistic concurrency control it's uh, there is no management of locks you don't manage lock you don't block so in this case the transactions can go on at the same time right and if there's a conflict if you run into conflicts you'll have to retry if you don't then you're good you don't have to manage any locks so that's that's a plus the read committed isolation level is implemented in a pessimistic way in yoga byte right and this is where they actually explain it here it's a very their document i'm gonna give it to them their docs are really good this is here's also just a guess of what is happening here my guess is yoga bite implemented this because of this this is really scary for database as database as a service users google came up with their native almost postgres fully managed postgres compatible database service not i could not see well, if they support read committed all this stuff they better do and I, and I tried to find it it doesn't say anything we can ask some questions but look at this fully compatible with postgres supports perform superior performance 4x faster than the standard postgres and traditional workload faster for analytic 100 times faster than analytics because what what google did is just they decoupled the compute from the storage and they put the storage in their google whatever the colossus whatever it's called so they have full they 
completely revamped the engine, the back end, if you will, the back end of the database. You know, so the front end of the database, the how do you connect to the database, all stayed the same. The engine, the execution, almost all the same. It's just they played with the computer. They almost rewrote everything, and they are completely compatible with Postgres. Now you might ask, are they gonna post all this stuff in open source Postgres? No. First of all, I don't think it makes sense because everything is just hard coded and sticky to Google platform. But I just found it uh, fascinating, this stuff. So I think Yoga by DB might be suffering right now because of this. Because like if I am a company and I want to move to the cloud, I have this option, I have this, I'm going to go with Google, right? Alloy DB, because it's proven. Those guys knows what they are doing. Yoga Byte, eh, not all features, especially if those guys support like full pessimistic, like everything, all the jazz that I have. It's if my app just works, if I put an Alloy DB, if, just, if it just works, then there is no reason not to move for Alloy DB if I'm going to save money. Right, so I think this is this is one of the I, I still don't know, right? But I have a feeling that this might be a little bit of a killer. Right? So yeah, guys, what do you guys think uh, about these new features that people are adding? Uh, do you really care about isolation levels? Some of you might not. Some of you will absolutely have use cases, and I I've seen those in the comments. Like, hey. What are you talking about? Of course, we, we use all these isolation levels. So yeah, if, if you if you absolutely know what you're doing and if you if you want high flexibility and more control, you definitely need to use these uh, at, at the appropriate time, obviously. I right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.